Welcome to the fifth and final video of the 14th chapter of Crystal Clear Electronics. Now that we have got to know the comparators, let's see how we can use the built-in comparator inside the microcontroller. Let's build a circuit shown in the figure. For the LED, use a 330 ohm current limiting resistor in series. Use a 10 kilo ohm potentiometer to create the reference voltage and connect its sliding contact to the A in zero positive input of the comparator. To measure temperature, use the 22 kilo ohm NTC thermistor and connect the 33 kilo ohm resistance in series with it. Connect their common point to the comparator's A in one negative input. The output of the comparator will be logic one if the voltage on its non-inverting input is higher than on the inverting input Otherwise, it's logic zero. Let's examine how the output of the comparator changes as the NTC's resistance changes, that is a function of temperature. If the voltage on the NTC is lower than the reference voltage, then the output will be high, otherwise it will be low. The NTC and the serial 33 kilo ohm resistor form a voltage divider, which divides the five volt supply voltage proportionally to the resistor's value. At room temperature, that is at 25 degrees Celsius, the NTC's resistance is 22 kilo ohms, so the voltage on it is 2 volts. As the temperature arises, the resistance of the NTC decreases, and so does the voltage drop on it. For example, at 35 Celsius, its resistance is only 14 kilo ohms, and the voltage on it is 1.49 volts, while at 15 Celsius, the resistance is 36 kilo ohms, and the voltage on it is 2.6 volts. For each temperature, we can match a voltage value. So with the potentiometer, which provides the reference voltage, basically we can set the reference voltage. What do you think? If I set the reference to 1.26 volts, which corresponds to 40 degrees, then at what temperature will the output be logic 1? At 39 degrees or 41 degrees? Stop the video, think about it. Take your time. Whenever you're ready, continue the video to see if you're thinking correctly. The potentiometer is connected to the non-inverting input, so in this case the output will be logic 1 if the reference voltage is higher than the voltage on the NTC. In case of higher temperatures, the measured voltage is lower, so the temperature of 41 Celsius means lower signal level, while the 39 Celsius temperature means higher voltage level. So in case of a value which is higher than the reference temperature, the output of the comparator is logic high, while if it's under the reference temperature, the output is logic low. The right answer is the bigger temperature, 41 degrees Celsius. Let's look at an example program in order to represent this. Load the CE14 underscore one underscore comparator project into Atmos Studio. Here, you can see a comparator init function, which sets the status register of the comparator to the proper value. You can read more about its operation on pages 193 to 195 of the microcontroller datasheet. The value of the comparator's output is contained in the ACO bit of the comparator status register, which can be read by calling the following function. Upload the code to the microcontroller and let's test its operation. Set the reference voltage with the help of the potentiometer so that the LED just doesn't light up. Now, if we warm up the NTC with our hand or with any other heat source, then the LED will light up as long as the NTC doesn't cool down below the previously set value, which is the current temperature of our room. This example concludes chapter 14. Thank you for joining us. Don't forget, you can always download the curriculum in PDF format from crystalclearelectronics.eu or in Hungarian from kristaltistaelektronika.hu. You can find the mobile app for Android and iOS platforms under the same name. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook and see you soon in the next videos. Bye! Bye!